Home Time by Jason O'Toole. It started out normal, like any other day, but after lunch things began to go astray. It was during maths when I looked up with fright to see the teacher's eyes turn completely white. I sat there stunned like half in a dream until the girl next to me started to scream. All at once we ran for the door, but the teacher caught Sam and ate him raw. As the teacher gnawed on Sam's thigh, I broke a large rule and pierced his eye. Now my sister's room was one level below, and as her caring brother, I thought she should know. It seemed the situation was worse than expected, as more staff had obviously become infected. On the stairs, Mrs. Taylor blocked my descent, so with a great big push, out the window she went. When I opened the door to room three, which is where my sis was meant to be, I was relieved to find her doing well, giving Miss Erin a lesson from hell. The situation was one of mass hysteria by the time we'd reached a cafeteria, and when the chef staggered in our way, I took off his head with a serving tray. Our exit reeked of the principal stale perfume, so we took a detour through the science room, but once inside Mr Griffin gave chase till Sis grabbed the acid and threw it in his face. The art class next door stunk of zombie pollution and aptly required a creative solution. So breaking each of the scissors in two, we picked up a pile and together we threw. Crawling through a window, we managed to get outside, but the putrefied gym teacher forced us to hide. Grabbing a baseball bat from the gym's store, Sis took a big swing and filled the air with gore. As fast as we could, we ran across the field, but were stopped by the groundskeeper who refused to yield. Thinking quick, I looked around, and using the lawnmower, mowed him down. At the school gate, a familiar stench filled the air, as the decaying principal blocked the exit to her lair. So wrapping a cord around the old troll, we hung a corpse high from the flagpole. As soon as we got home, we told Mum of the school's living dead. But for some reason, I don't think she believed a word we said. <laughs>